Hey guys, it's Jeremy from HowToHockey.com with The Hockey Movement and in this video I'm giving you an update on my cold hockey stick because I broke it. Well, I actually didn't break it here. This is the result of a little experiment that we did and I'll share that experiment with you a little bit later in this clip. Uh, first, what I want to talk about is how I actually broke it, which is on the blade right there and then I'm going to tell you my overall thoughts on the stick and they're actually coming out with two new hockey sticks. So I'll tell you more about that later in the video. Uh, so first, let's talk about how I broke it. For anyone who hasn't heard about the cold hockey stick, it's supposed to last a really, really long time, so that's what I was testing. Uh, basically, the bottom third of the hockey stick is dipped in a nano steel. Really thin, but really strong material. So the shaft is supposed to be really strong. Uh, where it actually broke on me is the blade. So I'll give you a little close-up look of that. Basically what happened with the Colt is that I was using it a lot this summer. Uh, so I was on the ice four hours a day for a hockey camp in Toronto, also using it for off-ice training with kids, and then shooting just on my own terms as well. So I got a lot of use out of it, took a lot of shots. Uh, where I noticed it started to come apart is when I used it off ice on cement and I tried not to drag it on the cement but it happened and it peeled a little bit of the steel off the bottom of the blade. Once some of the steel started to come off then more and more started to come off and then the bottom of the blade was exposed. I was taking a lot of slap shots with the Colt and I think just from slap shot after slap shot after slap shot eventually started to break down the composite inside and then because that steel was missing it eventually caused it just to crack and the bottom of the blade came open and once that happens uh, your shot it takes a lot of the power off of it. So for the experiment, I figured the Colt's already broken on the blade, might as well see how much a shaft can withstand. So I grabbed a few of my old hockey sticks that just had broken blades, but the shafts were still nice and strong, gave them to my friends, and I said, hit this thing as hard as you can. I tried to record it all on the GoPro. The problem is I first put the GoPro on the stick, just to give you that cool angle, uh, but they hit the stick so hard that after about five blows, it knocked the card right out. Tried it again, same thing, took about five really hard hits, and it knocked the SD card out, so it didn't record properly. Uh, so then I put it on the post, got some good footage, but remember that this thing already had about 10 plus hard, hard slashes before this clip right here. So I'll show you what it looks like. So that's not so bad, about 10 to 15 hard slashes on this stick before it breaks. And let's just take a quick look at a regular composite stick. All right, there's my recap for the Colt Gen 1 stick. Overall, I think it's a good durable stick. It's got pretty good performance, obviously doesn't last forever, uh, but it did take a lot of abuse for me. Only thing is if you get one, make sure you take care of the bottom of the blade right there. You don't want that steel to start wearing away because once it does, it's gonna keep on coming off and that's gonna lead to a broken blade. Performance wise, I think it was good, but not amazing. You know, you don't get that same puck feel that you get with some of the really high-end sticks, but if you're looking for a really durable stick, I think it's something worth considering. Good news is that the Gen 1 is now on sale, so instead of $289, I think it's $229 on the Cool Talkie website. And the second piece of good news is that they are actually coming out with a second generation. So this is a Colt Gen 2, which has a cooler design, and also they've reworked the dipping process for the nano steel, so it should stick on better. Uh, that's yet to be tested. Also, the Gen 2 Raw is one where the blade isn't coated. So I'm actually looking forward to that one because you'll get that puck feel back, uh, a little bit less weight and you won't have to worry about the steel coming off from the blade. You really get the protection right on the shaft where you want it. So I will be testing those sticks out. They're coming in the mail. So make sure you subscribe to this channel so you can get the updates. And if you want to check out the cool hockey sticks, I'll put a link down there in the video description. So that's it for the review. Thanks a lot for watching the video. I'll see you guys in the next one.